Where are we at? We are in a bookstore, and if somebody comes walking up behind us, just pretend you're not recording. So this week, I mean, I guess I should say hi, right? Yes. This week, I wanted to challenge myself to do a challenge that people do here on YouTube, and that is to read 200 pages a day for a week. So I thought that that was a doable thing for me, that that wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm an avid reader. Little known fact about me, I like to read. I thought that it would be okay that I could do it. But then I sort of like to think about what that would mean. Like, what does 200 pages look like? 200 times seven is 1,400. Right? Okay, that's a big number. And then I thought 1,400 is how many pages I read last month in total. So I'd be reading like an average month of reading in one week. And then I was like, oh, maybe this is gonna be hard. But I guess that's why it's a challenge, right? It's supposed to be hard. <laughs> So, why are we in a bookstore? <laughs> it's because for most of this challenge, I want to be reading The Count of Monte Cristo, which is what I am currently reading. That's a 1,200-page book, and I am 400 pages into that book. So if I'm reading 200 pages a day, I will finish that and need something else to read. But also, I want another book to be reading just in case I get so tired of The Count of Monte Cristo, I can't look at it anymore. So I want to be able to put The Count of Monte Cristo down and still reach my page count. So I want to pick something up that was lighter and easier to read. So if I'm really struggling, I can more easily read 200 pages. <laughs> anyway, we're here to get a book, a light book, an easy book to read, all right? So. <laughs> hey, where's that book? Oh, this way. Run. So I'm gonna pick up where the crawdads sing because I've been wanting to read this and this is something more easy to read that way when my eyes are tired of looking at the Count of Monte Cristo, I can still get my page count in. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So this might be really hard. There's a child. I anticipate this challenge being pretty hard. Actually, 200 pages a day is a lot. I've been kind of in a reading slump, like not really any motivation to read. So this might be a sick way to get me to actually get some pages in. We'll see how it goes. And I'm really excited to read this. I don't think I said this, but yesterday when I started this challenge was Monday. It is now Tuesday. Yesterday I successfully read 100 pages, 100. Well, I did successfully read 100 pages, but I also successfully read 200 pages. Day one complete. And I probably will start where the crawdads sing today, just because I genuinely want to start it anyway, because I want to read that book. But so far today, I read for 30 minutes, just starting off with The Count of Monte Cristo. So I'm thinking I'm gonna read 100 pages of this and 100 pages of Where the Crawdads Sing, but I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as I get the 200 pages in, so we'll see how I'm feeling uh, at the 100 page mark for this. One thing that I was really interested to see about for this challenge was how long it was gonna take me to read 200 pages, because I've never really timed myself. And it also varies. Like reading a classic, I think I go slower, which makes sense. I mean, it's, it's old. Older English, which can be harder to read. Whereas if I read a modern book, like Where the Crawdads Sing, I'll probably be able to fly through it a lot quicker. So that'll be interesting to see. I've been timing myself just to see. And yesterday I spent a little over four hours in total reading. So four hours for 200 pages of The Count of Monte Cristo. So I'll be curious to see how long it takes me to read Where the Crawdads Sing. 
I'll be back later when I have something else to say, I suppose. So I've successfully completed day two. It's now day three, it's Wednesday. Yesterday took me only about three hours and 20 minutes. Today so far, I've only read for an hour, so I have to get on that. But yesterday I did start Where the Crawdads Sing. I only read 100 pages of The Count of Monte Cristo and 100 pages of Where the Crawdads Sing to get me to my 200 mark. So yeah, I started this book and I really like it so far. I mean, I just know I'm gonna be so sad. I just know I'm gonna be sad, but I'm enjoying it and I'm still enjoying The Count of Monte Cristo. So yeah, I mean, I just gotta continue today. I think the hardest part of this challenge, I mean, it is hard to read 200 pages, especially since it's taking me like three to four hours. Like that's a good chunk of time. And when you have other responsibilities to do in your day-to-day -day life, you know, balancing that with this challenge is, is a difficult thing. But I honestly think the other hard part is like filming every day. I don't usually film every day. So like making sure I'm getting footage and stuff for this video is also a challenge. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got for now. Day three has begun. Today's Friday and it's still going good. I've only read for an hour today and it's almost two o'clock. So I gotta go do some more reading. I've been doing baking and stuff today, but it's going really well. Yesterday, it took me a lot less time. It took me just under three hours to complete the 200 pages, which has been the quickest it's been all week. And I don't know what that means. Both books are great. The Count of Monte Cristo is great. I have a whole video coming for that book um, cause it's part of my Dumas series. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Hello. It's now day six and I don't have a camera today. So we're getting phone footage, probably not a lot of footage, but I will be reading 200 pages today. I must confess day five did not read 200 pages. I read 150 something. I don't even remember, but I did not get my 200 page mark. I just didn't pick up the book again after I put it down the first time, so. But it's okay, I'm still chugging forward. It might not be 100% complete, but I still read a lot and um, I don't feel too bad about it. So today is day six. We have one more day after today, we're good. But it's already noon and I haven't read anything today. So we're off to a rough start, but I must, I must get my 200 pages in today. The challenge must go on. So check back in with you later when I've read. Today is the day. Today is the day. So yesterday I finished Where the Crawdads Sing. It was really good. I really liked it. I got a little emotional, but I really liked it. And today is the sixth day of our 200, no. <laughs> Today's the final day of reading 200 pages every day. And not only is today the final day of reading 200 pages every day, I'm gonna finish Count of Monte Cristo, which is very exciting because it's a very, very heavy book. The thing is though, I only have 74 pages left of this book. So I'll have to start another book um, to reach my 200 page count. But that's cool. I think I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna read my final Dumas book that I have, which is The Black Tulip. I've never read this one. I don't really know anything about it. I'm literally gonna have to read like half of this book today. I mean, that's cool. But yeah, let's um, finish this freaking boy here.
I did it. I read 200 pages for seven days. And that is a lot. It was hard. I'm glad it's over because there's things I need to do that I haven't been able to do because I've been spending over three hours reading every day. But I don't regret it. I had a good time. It was just a lot. <laughs> every day I would reach the 200 page mark and be like, yeah, I would feel so accomplished, right? But then it'd be like, I'd go to bed and I'd wake up and I'd be like, Oh, all right, I have to do it again. <laughs> it's not over. So I'm happy it's over, but I'm happy it happened. I finished The Count of Monte Cristo, which I read about a thousand pages of The Count of Monte Cristo, and I'm really happy that I got to knock it out. It took me 24 days to read this in total, but the majority of that was this past week. I was knocking out at least 100 pages of it a day. It's up there for me, for Dumas. If you can get through 1,200 pages, I think it's totally 100% worth it. And you don't have to read it in less than a month. You can take your time with it. So I definitely, definitely love this book. And then I also read Where the Crawdads Sing. And I really like this book. It's a little emotional at the end. I don't usually read reviews. I just kind of skimmed through them because I was noticing people were not giving it great reviews. So I don't really know why people didn't like it. I don't really care. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. And a very unique story. It's, it's a unique setting in the marshes of South Carolina or North Carolina, one of the Carolinas and kind of a tough ending, like a tough, like tough in a good way, like good, like dang, respect. So yeah, I read this. And then to be able to reach my 200 pages every day for the seven days, I had to start another book. And I started The Black Tulip and I had to read about half of it. So <laughs> I'm already halfway done with another book. But this one was kind of rough at the start. But once you got in a couple chapters and things started to like be explained a little bit more and stuff started to make sense. <laughs> It's interesting. I'm really liking it so far, actually. This is not the place for a review on this. So I reached my 200 page count. So while I was filming the wrap up for this video, I forgot to mention how long it took me to read. So I timed each day how much I was reading and I'll put like pictures in if you are interested. But I read like on average a little over three hours, three and a half hours a day, except for obviously the day five that I did not complete the 200 pages. The first day took me the longest at four hours and 20 minutes roughly and then after that it was like three, three and a half hours most days um, and in total all these seven days combined I read for 23 hours. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount to read. But yeah, I just wanted to include that because that was something I was interested in seeing. And I no longer have to read 200 pages every day and I'm kind of excited. I have this new like four hours of freedom that I could do other things. I didn't, okay, I've been saying I read 200 pages a day. I did, except for day five, that Friday, I didn't read 200 pages. So I know I was saying I was gonna come out of this reading 1400 pages, I'm pretty sure. Let me check for you. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, so I started the video saying reading 200 pages a day would put me at 1400 pages in seven days, but since I did not get to the 200 mark on day five, I only ended up reading 1,326 pages, which is not 1400, but it's still a lot. I track how many pages I read every month and looking at my monthly average, it ranges from anywhere from 1200 to 1400 usually, so 1300 is still in the range of how many pages I would read read in a, an entire month in 30 days. So to have read that in seven is crazy. And as long as I don't now nosedive into an extreme reading slump and I continue to at least read somewhat consistently, then my page count for September is gonna be off the charts. But anyway, that was fun, but I'm going to not read for four hours today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you later. Bye.